guys! Today I have a video all about JW Pay Bags. I do have three different bags to show you. So I have this one that's really neutral, it's perfect for summer or even winter. It matches everything. And then I have this yellow one, this yellow shoulder bag. I think this is perfect for the summer and I love the color yellow. And then I do have this green one. It's also a crossbody or a shoulder bag. The strap is inside and it's like inspired by Bottega. And last but not least, I have this tiny one. It's like this one's baby, but this is not the JW Pay brand. This actually is from the brand Simbono, and I got this as a gift for my friend. But they look so similar, so I'll just include in this video and let's get going. So first off, they do all come with a marble box. It's really pretty, and in gold, it just says JW Pay. Depending on the size of the bag, that's the size of the box that you will get. And all of them do come with a satin dust bag. The first bag that we'll be talking about is this bag. It's called the Maze bag, and this is in color grass green. Of course, this is like inspired by the Bottega bag. Um, I was actually on the fence of getting that one, but I just wasn't sure of spending that much money on a trendy bag. So if I really do fall in love with the style, I might then invest in Bottega. But one thing that's really great about JW Pay is that all of their leather is actually vegan leather so for those of you who really are adamant and care about that this is a great brand so as for the opening it is magnetic that's how it opens it's just two magnetic things over here and you hook the shoulder strap here so the shoulder strap has seven holes and i think that's really great and it makes it more adjustable so you could actually turn this into more of a shoulder bag if you want it really short, um, but I like it as a crossbody bag more. So even though this is a vegan leather bag, what surprised me was that the leather is super soft. Like, this is the quilting of it. It's super puffy, but it feels like a pillow. Like, you could, you just want to keep squishing it, and it's fine. Like, it just feels so nice. But, I'm not sure if it is because it's soft or whatnot. The base, I feel like, caves in easily. And on the inside, you already see a lot of creases. I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up. I might do close up, but there are some really deep creases here already. And I actually haven't used this outside yet. I've worn it around the house once or twice, but the inside seems pretty creased up already. I'm not sure from what. But yeah, definitely. The inside here does not feel as nice as the outside. Um, the inside almost feel kind of rubbery, whereas the outside just feels like really, really soft leather. So I'm gonna show you quickly the ma shot with this bag. I am wearing a regular white crop top and I have this skirt that I love from Urban Outfitters. And I would not be wearing this bag with this skirt because it was everything would be too green. But right now I have it on more of a crossbody um, setting. And this is how it looks on the side. And crossbody. So it looks like this. It does puff out a lot out of your body, but I think that's fine. Like it's still really cute. So to make it into a shoulder bag, like a shorter one, what I would do is just loop it around like how you do with uh, Chanel bags and other bags with the strap that are too long. You could loop it around, but because those bags are chain, it's much easier with than with leather. And so loop it around like this, it still closes no problem. And you have a small little shoulder bag that you could wear like this. I personally wouldn't just because it is really puffy and it feels uncomfortable. Just having it out here, I feel like, I don't know, like I just want to squish it all day. So I wouldn't do that. I think this bag would look great with just crossbody and a neutral outfit or if you want you could have a really colorful outfit i think it's really pretty so this is again the maze bag and i have all my essentials laid out i just want to show you what fits inside but i also want to do a close-up of the creases that i was talking about if you can see it's pretty scratched up i'm not sure if it's scratched up or creases but it's pretty noticeable and i've never worn this bag before but you okay yeah you see it a lot so that's kind of sad. I mean, it's not that expensive again, but, you know, since I never worn it, this is pretty bad wear and tear already. I already showed you that my iPhone 12 Pro does fit in here no problem, but because I always hold it in my hands, I never actually use it in my bag. But for those of you who do, I just want to show you for size reference. Another thing that will fit is a mini agenda. So I have the LV Agenda PM. It fits in here no problem, but um, 
I will show you later that when we start putting everything in, like my key clay, I have a Chanel hand lotion, a little tissue holder from Prada, I have a mini face spray that I carry just because my skin is so dry, and my AirPods. So I will show you that it is a tight fit. It still closes the magnetic. You can see it's kind of stretching. Um, it still does close. Everything fits fine, but I wouldn't recommend it. I also don't carry my agenda out, but it's a good size reference. It's kind of comparable to a phone, just not as wide. So this is my usual daily essentials, and it closes perfectly fine. Like for this, there's no problem at all. All the magnetics are touching. I'll show you quickly how nice the puff is. So the quilting is really, really pretty and it's super soft, you can tell. Like it's really, really nice leather, even though it's vegan. So the next bag that I want to talk about is this mini flat bag that is its name and it retails for $99. The one from the maze bag is $129, but you can always get these on sale. Don't pay full price for these. The JWP website always have discount codes and so does Amazon, they always mark it down. I got this for $60 and I got the maze bag for I think $90. So you can always get them on sale, do not pay full price. And I will link the Amazon links below and the JWP website links. And the Celine bag I believe is $3,000 or even more than that. And with this bag, I got it for $60 and it might be inspired or whatnot but there's no logos, nothing on it, and I would rather pay this price for a canvas one just because I also don't know how it wears and tears than paying $3,000 for a really simple bag like this. So to open this bag, it's actually a closure. You just press here and it opens. And the dimensions of this is 7.1 times 6.1 times 3.1. And inside, again, it's le vegan leather. This leather is a lot sturdier, I feel like, than the maze bag. There are no creases here, and I've used it several times already. So there is one divider in the inside, and there's one zipper pocket, and one regular pocket. And because of the divider, you can't fit as much, just because this is also a very structured bag. But I love the look of it. I think it's so neutral and pretty, and it works for any of the seasons. Again, I have an iPhone 12 Pro, and it fits in here, no issues. And I think definitely if you have a bigger size phone, that's also fine. Um, and you still have plenty of room for your daily essentials. So again, with this outfit, I think this bag is actually fine. But this is how it looks as a shoulder bag. I think it's so pretty. And as a crossbody. I think it's also really cute if you're going to work and you have jeans on. It just looks super casual. Again, with this bag, you open by pressing this. And the clasp opens. There is a divider in here. Your phone, my phone is the iPhone 12 Pro. It's here perfectly fine, no problem. And if you are really into, you know, planning and everything, this also fits in here perfectly fine without issue. So that's all you carry. Some pens and, you know, little knickknacks like a wallet and um, ear pods. This will all fit perfectly fine as well. Again, I don't carry out with this, but just for size reference, it does fit. So my key clay obviously fits in here fine. I would just put it in this pocket. This is a bit tight. If you have a card holder, it will fit. So I'm just going to put it here. My Prada tissue holder. AirPods. And my face spray. I still have a lot of room and I'll just put my hand lotion here. And everything fits and closes with no issues. So last but not least, this is actually one of my favorite bags. This is like my favorite bag for the summer, actually. I love yellow and um, I'm lusting over. <laughs> my dream bag is either a yellow mini Kelly or even a Kelly 25 from Hermes or just a mini, not mini, but small classic flap from Chanel and Caviar. That's a bag that I definitely was splurging one day, but for now, this will do. Um, again, the leather is super, super soft, and this retails for $59.99, but I always get it on sale. No, this retails for $89. I 
I got it for $59.99 in Amazon. And the dimensions for this bag is 9.6 times 4.7 times 2.4. And this just says JW Pay right here. So this does have a little logo. And inside, like the maze bag, is magnetic opening. And there is one pocket over here. And this pocket fits your credit cards perfectly, so you don't really have to bring a wallet. So that's what I did for Switzerland. I didn't bring uh, my wallet. I did bring a coin purse, but I have my passport in here, my camera in here. It fits a lot more than you'd think. Like, it fits stuff in like, the nooks and crannies of this bag. Um, yeah, and it's really safe. The magnetic closure is actually pretty secure. It doesn't just open. Like, you kind of have to actually, like, force it a bit. And nothing fell out. So... Definitely, you don't have to worry about that. I mean, it's not zipper, so you want to keep an eye on it. But in terms of like things falling out, everyday security, I think this is fine. One thing to note about this specific bag is that I think all of them are made a bit differently with the handles. I've seen some people are able to fit this under their shoulder or this just looks a bit longer. Mine, I feel like looks more unison but it's not that long like you could fit under your shoulder for emergencies but it's not that comfortable so i have done this only a few times like when i really needed my hands to be free so masha with this is pretty easy i mean you could only really hold it like this so on your crook of your arm or under your armpit again this is not that comfortable if you can tell it's literally right under your arms and that's how much space that you will have so it's just like flailing your hands and you would just hold it. I think it's really cute just holding it. Um, this is what I had in Matterhorn in Switzerland and I mean, I was perfectly fine. I never thought that I would just be a hand carry bag type of girl, but it didn't annoy me that much. Um, for the most part, it's not heavy or anything. So this is the Gabby bag and again, I opened with magnetic closure. It's quite dirty in there. So what I did on the trip was I didn't carry a card holder. I put all my cards in here. The key clay does not fit in here, but all your cards will. In this scenario, since I'm not traveling, this fits my key clay, fits my phone. Still plenty of room, if you guys can tell. It's a lot of room. My tissue holder, a hand lotion goes in there, and my AirPods. And there's still a lot of space guys like a lot of space would this fit in here i think it will but might not close yeah so it hinders the magnet but i mean if you just want to hold it it does fit but i also have my face spray so that fits in here like i could just dump it and it closes so you see this bag holds a lot nothing falls out i'm shaking it but yeah, this is like perfect for the summer, perfect for daily essentials, errand running, everything. And finally, the baby bag. I got this bag from my friend on my birthday, and the brand is Simbono. At first, I thought it was JW Pay, but it's not. Um, they do sell really similar bags. I will link their website down below. But JW Pay actually do make mini versions of their Gabby bag. As you can see, the difference is. This is more of a flat bottom. This is more curved. And I actually like that. Um, the JW Pay mini bags. The only thing that I don't like about it is that their chain. They, I don't think they have a chain strap. I'm not sure. I'll show the picture here. But they have like a chain hanging from here. Kind of like a necklace. And I just think that's so weird. But this brand, they do have two little hooks. And a chain's inside. And I think it's so cute. It literally looks like a mini bag and I always have this dream of like I could save my bags for my daughter or my nieces or whatever and it could be like a mini me but like the JW Pay bag again it opens with a magnetic closure and inside is the chain the chain feels really heavy duty like these are the type of chains that I feel like you could wear with your LB bag if it matches it's really really heavy duty and nice quality and it has type of hooks so you hook it on both sides. When I'm displaying them, I just put the chain inside. This is how it looks when it's hooked up. It's so cute. I actually like it more as a hand carry because I feel like that's how I carry my other bag. And even to the ruching, it's so similar. So you see how this, ruch this type of shape is more like a longer oval shape than compared to this one. It's more like a true circle. 
this shape is how I saw some of the JW paint bags and it made it easier to go under your shoulder whereas mine um it feels again kind of uncomfortable again this doesn't really go with my outfit right now but with the chain on again five two and a half with the chain on it just kind of dangles I mean it's still cute again if you need your hands free I think it's really cute as a crossbody though like with your little white dress I think this is so cute and then of course you could just hold it like this this would not oh this does but taking out is kind of a hassle so for those of you who are into micro bags or mini bags i definitely recommend this so on to the little baby i took the chain out again it's opened by manic it is really really tiny but it does fit your airpods i believe so yes it does fit your airpods and it does not close but it fits it in so that's about the size comparison that you will get and i will try and see okay getting out is a hassle but i will try and see if it's cards as well I have a Tesla card and I mean I wouldn't put a card in here just because just getting it out will take 5,000 years and I have social anxiety just waiting in line okay yeah it's not gonna fit so this is how it looks but I mean would it it'll fit my face spray a bit no so yeah I think this is purely <laughs> for airpods this fits in perfectly fine or you could fit um coins but it would definitely fall out but yeah, this is <laughs> this is all that this little baby holds. Again, these are all my three JW pay bags. And if you guys are interested in any of them, they will be linked down below. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoy. If you did, please subscribe, like, and comment. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.